Segment 13, Wi-Fi Setup. Now that your software is installed and your Muse is properly connected, you may want to update your settings and take advantage of the Muse Wi-Fi connectivity option. To do this, you will need access to your local wireless network, including the password. You will need to enter this information in the Muse control panel, then update your port settings in your CreateSpace or LXI software. To begin, press the Set button on the Muse control panel's home screen. Then, from the Settings menu, touch Wi-Fi. From the Wi-Fi settings menu, touch Scan. The Muse will scan for all available wireless networks and display them on the network's window. Touch the listing for the appropriate network and then touch Apply. Then, in the lower window, carefully enter the network password. Once the password has been entered correctly, press Apply. The lower left icon will change to Wait, while the Muse Vinyl Cutter connects to the wireless network. Once connected, the Apply button will change to Connected OK. The third window on the Wi-Fi settings screen shows the cutter's IP address. The IP address is assigned after the Muse is connected to your wireless network. Once connected, the IP address is also conveniently displayed at the top of the home screen. You will need to take note of this so that you can update your software. Segment 14, Wi-Fi Configuration, LXI. Before updating the cutter settings in your LXI software, you need to make sure your PC and your Muse Vinyl Cutter are both connected to the same wireless network. In order to do that for LXI, you'll need to open the Microsoft Windows Control Panel. Click the Start icon to open the Start menu, then click Settings. From the Settings window, click Network and Internet. Then, click the Wi-Fi icon on the left. Then from the Wi-Fi window, click Show Available Networks. Find the wireless network you intend to use for the Muse and connect. You will probably need to enter the network password here just as you did to connect the Muse. Once your PC is connected, you're ready to update the settings in LXI. LXI Wi-Fi Update Open the LXI Production Manager. Right-click on the Muse at USB list at the top of the device window. From the pop-up menu, select Change Port. Click the arrow next to USB Printer to open the drop-down menu. Change this from USB to TCP IP, then click Next. Then, in the IP address window, enter the exact IP address displayed on the Muse Vinyl Cutter Wi-Fi settings window or on the home screen of the control panel. Below the IP address, LXI prompts you to enter the port number. The default port number for the Muse is 8080. Enter this value and click Test. If the settings are correct, LXI will declare Success. You are now connected wirelessly to your Muse Vinyl Cutter. You can remove the USB cable and send jobs from LXI over your local Wi-Fi network. Segment 15, Wi-Fi Configuration, Create Space. To update the port settings in CreateSpace from USB to Wi-Fi, open CreateSpace and click the Cut icon in the toolbar. From the drop-down menu, select Cut with Muse. This will open the Cut Settings window. In the Connection window, Click to change this from USB 
to TCP IP. In the IP address window, enter the exact IP address as displayed on the Muse Vinyl Cutter's Wi-Fi settings window or at the top of the home screen. Then click Test Connection. If connected properly, the Muse Vinyl Cutter will respond by moving the pinch rollers forward and backward. If you have vinyl loaded, you should see the vinyl move in the cutter. You may also hear beeps from the Muse indicating that a connection has been received. Congratulations! You are now connected wirelessly to your Muse Vinyl Cutter. You can remove the USB cable and send jobs directly from CreateSpace.